Hey friends, today I'm going to walk you through a project where we're going to create a website that writes itself, or rather, we're going to create a server that uses AI to generate websites, both the HTML, CSS, as well as the content. And this is something I've been playing around with for a little bit now. I think it's really interesting and has implications for the future of the web as more and more people start to lean on AI, both in producing and generating content, but also in production workflows for building websites. So let's dive in. So we're writing this in Node. The first thing we're going to do is write a basic server with Express. Then we're going to create a variable for the content that we're going to replace ultimately with our HTML. We're going to include and configure .env so we can bring in our API key. Then we're going to create a function that calls the ChatGPT completions API. So this is just a post request, which we're going to pass in the appropriate headers, including our API key. And then the body is going to be a stringified JSON of a variable that we're going to define. So the body of our request consists of the model, which in this case is the GPT 3.5 turbo, as well as the array of messages that we want to send it. So we're going to pass in two messages, which consist of the system prompt and the user prompt. Then we're just going to call the method when our server starts. Next, we're going to get the response from our fetch request as JSON. And it has a choices array. We're going to access the first choice message content and then update our HTML variable. So if we test this right now, we should get the response from ChatGPT. Of course, we're not actually sending it any prompts, so it's just giving us some boilerplate. So let's go ahead and write the system prompt. We're basically gonna tell ChatGPT that it's an HTML generator. We're going to provide content for it, but we want it to generate the HTML layout and CSS for the website. Now, we also wanna make sure that it's not going to describe anything. We want it to just spit out HTML from the API itself. And then if you have any other specific requirements on the structure of the, the HTML, this is where you would put it as well. Then for the user prompt, we're just going to write our content. Um, we'll provide a title so it knows what the title is, and then the rest of it is just going to be content it's going to use to populate the website. So if we run our server and then give it a minute to run and refresh the page, this is what we get, a website with all of our content. Now this is pretty basic, but let's see what else we can do. So if we create an endpoint called prompt, we can use that to regenerate the page. So we'll just call our update page method again. Then in our content, we can create a button that calls this request and upon resolution, just refreshes the page. So now if we restart our server and let it generate, you'll see we have our button here that we can click and it will subsequently regenerate a website with the same content and replace itself. So this is cool, right? We can automatically generate HTML and then build the site out from there. But another thing I wanted to explore is using an existing website that we've already designed and populating it automatically with content using AI. So here's a template that I built using all placeholder text throughout the website. It has a particular structure and layout and it has these images in here as well. So let's go ahead and see how we can automatically take this website and repopulate it using AI. The first thing we're gonna do is include the FS module so that we can access our file system. And then we're gonna clear out our prompts because we're gonna use all new prompts for this. Next, we're gonna load our template locally and update our HTML content with the results. Then we're gonna call our update page method after our content has loaded. 
our system prompt will be pretty simple. We're just gonna tell it that it will be given a template and a theme and to populate the template with content based on the theme. Our user prompt is actually going to be a sequence of steps. So we're going to tell it to take the HTML document that we will provide within the same prompt further down. Then we're gonna provide the theme for our content and then we're going to tell it to populate our document with content based on the theme. We're going to specify to only return the HTML document, no description, and then finally we're going to provide the document itself that we want it to populate. Then we're going to move our user prompt and our body definition inside of our update page method. So if we run our server and reload our page, you'll see it's populated with our placeholder content, but once the API request is done, if we refresh again, you'll see now it's populated with all of the content based on our theme. So these are just a couple examples of how you can use AI to generate websites and content. I think there's a lot of different things you can do with this. Um, particularly, you can use the server to save files locally and generate websites that way as well, instead of just serving them up like we are here. You can also, of course, play with the prompts and tweak the prompts to your needs and specifications, but a lot of interesting potential here with AI and websites 